today we're going to make the four ingredient bottles for our super power potion. And I have my plan with me. I'm going to take a piece of paper and fold it into four. If you're working out of a notebook or sketchbook, just draw a line down the center and a line across so you have four sections when you open up your paper. Now, you can just leave it folded like this, or if you want, you can actually draw the line to divide it. And you're gonna draw four different looking containers. I have three here um, that I might try, but since I already showed you how to make these, I might draw a couple different shaped ones just to give you an idea of some other potion bottles you could try drawing. Going by my plan, I've decided to go with my flying potion because I was able to come up with um, some more ideas as far as drawing those four ingredients. And now I just want to draw four very different containers for my four ingredients. And I say containers because I decided one of my bottles is going to look more like a jar. Uh, and to do something like a, like a jar, I'm going to make it very wide at the top instead of doing something that was more narrow like the other bottles we looked at. My jar is going to come down, so it's more like a cylinder, and then have a curve at the bottom. And then right around here I'm going to draw where the lid will go. Now because this is see-through, I'm going to draw a very faint line right there so it looks like the back part of this jar. Now, I still really like my cloud bottle, so I'm going to do something similar with that. Now for this top one, I decided to make it more fancy. Just like the other bottles, I'm gonna pick a, a stopper or something that'll be at the top of the bottle. I have my four different containers that are in a variety of different shapes. I filled up most of the space of each of those squares though, so that when I draw my ingredients, I'll be able to see them clearly. Now, if you want to, you can also write on here which each one is, uh, but I have my sketch here, so I think I'm gonna be able to remember. They're all pretty different, so I think I I'll be able to tell them apart. After you've drawn the ingredients inside your containers, you're going to trace. I'm tracing with a thicker Sharpie, but you can use um, a thinner one if you like. I'm using a thicker one just because I can see the lines better. And for this project, because we're not going to be painting, it doesn't actually have to be a permanent marker. It can be a regular black marker. 
because it's not gonna get wet. After you've traced, make sure to erase any pencil lines. 